perfect tenses. In this lesson, we are going to look at the perfect tenses of the verb. The perfect tenses are the verb tenses which show action already completed. They are formed by the appropriate tense of the verb to have followed by the past participle. Our tenses will be our present perfect, past perfect, and our future perfect tense. The present perfect tense. Now this shows an action completed in the present. Example, they have seen the game. He has taken the apple from the table and Mary has not baked the cake. Now if we look at these sentences, now to form the present perfect, the past participle form of the verb, like see, take, and bake, we use with the present tense form of the verb to have, which is has or have. And remember, with the plural nouns or pronouns, we use the verb have. And with those singular nouns or pronouns, we would use the verb has. Now let's move on to the past perfect tense. This shows action completed in the past. Some examples. The children had played the games. He had eaten the mangoes from the basket. And three, we had not swum in the pool. Now looking at our past perfect sentences, we will earn words here. To form the, this tense, the past perfect tense, the past participle form of the verb play, eat, and swim is used with the past tense form of the verb to have which is had. So if you look at it, we see had using all the sentences, no matter plural or singular, this the subject, noun or pronoun, had is being used with the past participle form of the verb. So let's now move on to our future perfect tense. This shows an action to be completed in the future. Examples. They will have gone to the movies tonight. I will have left him in the yard. And he will have seen all the patients. So to form our future perfect tense, the past participle form of the verbs like go, leave, and see, we use with the future tense form of the verb to have, which is will have. So all the sentences will have that will have in our future perfect tense with our past participle. Now let's go straight into our practice. So we're going to do with a few sentences. So here we have our sentences, six sentences, and in brackets we have the tense that are to be, or is to be formed our present perfect, future perfect, and past perfect. And in brackets, here we have our verbs that we're going to form the past participle to be used with those um, tenses that will be formed from the verb to have. So first sentence, the girl, we have to use will bring, and we have many snacks. So to form the present perfect, our sentence would read, the girl has brought many snacks. Number two, the boys, and in brackets we have the verb leave, and we are to form the future perfect. Um, here we have the others by then. So our sentence should read, the boys will have left the others by then. Sentence number three, we have it, here we have rain in brackets, heavily all day, and we have to form the fast perfect. Our sentence will read, it had rained heavily all day. So let's move on to sentence number four. In brackets, we have the verb drive. 
you have to form the present participle so a sentence should read the cars will drive along the wet road present perfect the cars have driven along the wet road number five mommy here we have washed the clothes we had left behind for past perfect mommy had washed the clothes we had left behind and our last sentence the babies in brackets we have sleep we have to form the future perfect so the babies sleep in their cribs future perfect sentence will be the babies will have slept in their cribs so again to recap the present perfect tense this shows an action completed in the present and to form this tense the past participle form of the verb is used with the present tense form of the verb to have which is has or have the past perfect tense this shows action completed in the past to form this tense the past participle form of the verb is used with the past tense form of the verb to have which is had and lastly the future perfect tense this shows an action to be completed in the future to form this tense the past participle form of the verb is used with the future tense form of the verb to have which is will have